is the tutorial for RevAlp by Josue Martinez. So a quick prerequisite that you need to learn before RevAlp is you break off a packet of about 8 to 10 cards, like so. And you're going to position it by clipping it between your first finger and your thumb. And you're going to put your middle finger underneath it and you're going to practice swiveling out like this. This is the main motion that's going to cause the packet to fly out of your hand and land on the deck just like that. So once again, break off a pack of about 8 to 10 cards. And you're going to put your pinky on top and your ring finger underneath. This uses a similar opener to uh, Java by Nikolai. So then you can peel off a card just like this. And naturally, your middle finger is going to end up under the packet. And you're going to sort of lift up like so. And it's going to clear this card. And then you're going to swivel out like this. And you're going to throw the packet onto the deck. And now you're going to have one card clipped right here. And you can do whatever you want from here. You can do a twirl, you can do a backdrop, however you want to close it. Once again, break off a small packet, clip the card like so, rotate out like this, and then close. All right, let's take a look at rev out from one more angle. Again, you're gonna break off a packet of about eight to 10 cards. You're gonna peel off one card like so, and once it clears this card, you're going to begin doing this rev motion from the beginning of the tutorial and you're going to throw the packet like that onto the deck and close however you want. One more time. Make sure it clears this card before you do the rev motion. Throw it onto the deck like so and close however you want. There's a lot of different possibilities with rev out. You can use it in a lot of different combos. You can do urnays and throw it at the same time. It's a really versatile move that can be used a lot. So a couple important things to remember when doing it are when you break off this packet, make sure it's about 8 to 10 cards so you can get the ideal throw. And then when you peel this card, make sure it clears right here before you start doing this motion that was taught at the beginning of this tutorial. And make sure your middle finger is under it and you're sort of swiveling like this. That way you can get the ideal throw and it lands properly on the deck and then you can close however you want.